All right. Now we're in our second segment of the show. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, NWA clips I found with Harley Race and Giant Baba. And also the, uh, some of the clips with Harley Race and Bob Backlund. Uh, of course, between 1980, some of those clips are hard to find. So uh, thank you for uh, seeing those clips. And thank you for the guys posting them up who posted those on YouTube. All right, so now we're in the AWA segment, and of course the uh, AWA there were so many, there was also two champions at the time. There was a title change uh, that year, 1980. Uh, Nick Bockwinkel held the title for the first half of the year. He, he won the title from uh, wrongly up the owner of the company, uh, Vern Gagne, and um, he had a losing to Vern Gagne uh, in 1980. Um, but Nick had the title since uh, 1975. And he uh, did have a heavy schedule like Backlund or uh, Harley Race, uh, but he would wrestle throughout the Midwest and down in Memphis and parts of Canada um, as the AWA World Champion. Uh, before he lost the belt to Vert Gagne, uh, he would wrestle and defend the belt against Mad Dog Vachon at least nine times. That was his probably most um, opponent he had for that challenged him for the title. Uh, back in 1980, he also wrestled Vern's son, Greg Gagne. Uh, he wrestled a former champion, The Crusher, in which I found a clip of him wrestling The Crusher, uh, putting the title against him in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, um, I think on May 1st, 1980. And I like to thank Dot Dykins, who has apparently got a lot of AWA stuff on YouTube, uh, for posting that one of it. It's a two parter. But you guys will be able to see the whole entire match of that. He also defended the belt against uh, Dino Bravo. Uh, Dick Bruiser had a shot at the AWA World Title against Black Winko. Um, Bill Dundee, or superstar Bill Dundee from the Memphis uh, promotion, CWA, uh, had a shot at Black Winko that year. Um, so the Jumbo Trust, uh, like I said before in the in, NWA segment, he wrestled Harley for the NWA World Title. And he came to the States to wrestle Nick Black Winko for the AWA World Title. And the last match that Nick Black Winko wrestled as the AWA World Champion that year, 1980, was in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Which is kind of weird because it's not exactly AWA territory. They've been out there before, like back in 1979, Nick Bockwinkel, Russell, and actually Bob Backlund, champion versus champion match there in Toronto. But Ottawa, it's a, probably a crossroads, a place where, you know, NWA Maple Leaf or the Montreal promotion at the time, Rosrock, that was uh, co owned by Andre Giant, would have their. Uh, Wrestling matches there, but that was the last match Nick Blackwinkle wrestled as the champ that year against Greg Gunn. And I guess Vern wanted to be champion one more time. So it was on July 18th, 1980, in Kaminsky Park in Chicago, Illinois. Vern Gunn would be, beat Nick Blackwinkle for the, in winning the AWA World title for the 10th time and basically put himself in the books as being one of the great world champions, even though he owned the company. But. <laughs> I also got that match too. Dot Dykins posted that one up. It's a two-parter. It's an outdoor uh, match, of course. Um, and of course, you'll see Bobby Heenan as Nick Bogwinkle's manager. But look at their records and stuff. It seemed like Vern really didn't defend, his, uh, defend the uh, belt that much. He was more focusing on winning the tag team titles with Mad Dog Vachon, of all people. Uh, they wrestled um, Adrian Donis and Jesse the Body Ventura. Uh, <laughs> The current champions at that time. He, of course, we all know what happened to Jesse. But um, apparently, he had only really three major title defenses that year as champion for the 10th time. One against Billy Robinson. Uh, one against Jesse Body Ventura. And Jerry Blackwell. And, of course, uh, later on in 91, of course, we'll talk about it in the next episode. You know, Vern would officially retire and Bach would go get the belt back. So, um, that's basically much from the EWA at that time. I mean... They were still going strong at that point, and um, so you know, after this clip here, guys, we've seen uh, the two matches one Bachwinkel defending the belt against Crusher in Winnipeg, and Vern Gagne winning the AW World title for the 10th time in Kaminsky Park in Chicago. And after those AW matches, we'll get into the World Wrestling Federation and their champion Bob Backlund and his many title defenses of that year in 1980. So thank you for checking out, and I hope you guys subscribe to the channel, Michael Miller, and also watch these uh, clips on the uh, playlist channel. I got um, World Champions of Pro Wrestling Episode 1, so thanks again.